ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Howdy folks, Parker Peters here. Today I got something in the mail that I have been excited to receive for quite some time. I got the ukulele uh, backer edition. This is the physical backer edition that uh, was just recently shipped out for those of us that pledged. I believe it was 80 euro or more to the ukulele Kickstarter. So let's open this up and take a look. Alright, so just from uh, first glance, you can see that it does come in a regular old DVD case. Um, this is uh, nothing special. It, is, it looks like it's a little bit more of a glossy plastic than uh, a DVD case usually is, but for the most part, this is just a regular old plain ass DVD case, which is a little bit uh, disappointing because in the description it seemed like, maybe it was just me reading into it, being a collector of big box PC games, but it seemed like it was going to come in a cardboard box, kind of like uh, Blizzard games come in, like a nice well produced cardboard PC box, but as you can see that is not the case. It does come in just a regular plastic DVD case. So as you can see on the front, we've got our cover art. Uh, very nice, very rare wear. It's a, it's a functional cover art. It reminds me of the cover art for Banjo-Kazooie. That's not very surprising though, is it? On the back, we've got some screenshots and uh, just some details about the game itself. Not much. I've noticed that on this, actually something very neat about it is that there is no rating, no PEGI rating, no uh, ESRB rating. This shipped from the UK, so I expected there to be a PEGI rating on it, but uh, it looks like the backer edition has no rating system on it whatsoever. Also on the bottom you can see that there is a barcode. I don't think that this is a real barcode. Um, I think that it's just there for for looks. It doesn't look like a real barcode to me. And I also noticed from reading the copyright information on the bottom, here I'll zoom in here, as you can see, uh, Platonic Games, or whoever put this box together, um, forgot to finish writing the Steam link, uh, forgot to finish writing Steam's website on the box. I mean, if the DVD box aesthetic didn't give you a bootleg feel already, I'm sure an unfinished link at the bottom of the box would. Anyway. Uh, aside from that, um, this is a very heavy DVD box, so uh, let's open it and take a look and see what's inside. Alright, immediately upon opening it, you can see right here, is my Steam download key. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blur that out so that you fuckers can't see that. Immediately greeting you is the DVD copy of the game. It says on the back that the DVD just includes an installation of the Steam version of the game. So, uh, that and the Steam code. It's just, it's nice to get a physical disc, I suppose. Uh, I was a physical edition backer, so I'm glad that it just wasn't a DVD box with a Steam code in it. Next to the disc, we have what is actually a very thick manual. And, uh, we'll take a look at that in just a second, but behind the manual is, as you can see here, the ukulele original soundtrack which is nice that they included that physically as well. But that's all that's in the, uh, the Kickstarter Backer Edition box. Um, let's take a look inside that pamphlet, that manual that came in the box, and uh, see if there's any surprises in there. So as you can see on the front of the manual, it is styled after a Super Nintendo game, um, Trouser Soft, featuring Trouser Snake, who is my favorite character. That is a filthy name for a character in a children's game. Yeah, he's, he's one of the more fantastic characters in the game. Um, opening it up, you can see that this is a traditional game manual. The pages are very, very nice. This is the highest quality manual I've seen in a while. These are thick, high gloss, very colorful pages. And we just have a lot of nice uh, fluffy fluff text, um, a lot of full color images, a gameplay rundown, a, uh, a description of the multiplayer. We have bios on each of the main characters and the NPCs in the game, which is always neat to have. Um, you don't get pamphlets like these in games very often. I doubt very much that this pamphlet comes with the standard edition of the game, so I feel sorry for those folks. Get a rundown of the moves in the game, of all of the items in the game, 
and then if you turn the page past the middle staple mark, you'll find that the pages are turned upside down because if you take this uh, manual and you flip it upside down, we get a little art book. Uh, the backer edition promised an art book and um, I kind of expected something like what I got with that Senran Gagata. Uh, unboxing we did a couple days ago, which is a nice um, separate art book, but actually this is just, you gotta turn the manual upside down and backwards and then you get sort of a consolation art book is what I would call it. But it has some nice character sketches, it has, uh, it has concept images of each of the characters, it goes through their development and their process, which is nice, it's sort of a development diary in a way, an art book in other ways. Um, it's, it's mostly a character development diary more than an art book because it mostly shows off the uh, concept images behind characters. There isn't much uh, actual finished art to look at, but the last two pages are some promotional art that actually looks very nice. And they are likewise printed on the same very high quality, very high color paper as the rest of the manual is. So that's nice in a way. Um, so overall I would say that this uh, this backer edition, this box set that I got for paying, I think I I think I pledged ninety or a hundred dollars to the Kickstarter um, to get the physical edition because again I thought that it would be in a big box, a PC cardboard, nice big box. However, obviously it is not. Maybe that is uh, negligence on my part. Maybe that's being too trusting in Kickstarter. Yeah, Kickstarter is a little bit of a double-edged sword on the one end. Um, Kickstarter makes it possible for games to come out that would otherwise never be made, and I'm very glad that Ukulele was made. It is a fun game. I've had the chance to play it on both PC and PS4, because for my $90 pledge I was given the physical edition for PC, as well as a download edition on the system of my choice, so I chose PS4 and PC just to compare and contrast. Both versions of the game are great. Um, if you like Banjo-Kazooie, if you like fifth generation collectathon platformers, or if you're a fan of collectathons in general, I would say that Ukulele is well, well worth your time. Um, I'm going to have a full review of it up on Thursday, the 27th of April, so look forward to that. Um, but yeah, just uh, just before that review, I'd just like to say that it is a good game. I'm glad I backed it. Um, I don't regret it. I just think that it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit sad that the physical backer edition, the nice I mean, this is this is the first tier of the like nice rewards. Like it, the game was like fifty dollars. I think that you got a copy of the game if you pledged more than twenty-five dollars, or some somewhere around that. So since I pledged ninety dollars, I got the physical edition and a download. This is the first of the sort of premium uh, rewards, as I would call them, and it is kind of chintzy for a premium reward, if you ask me. I have backed other Kickstarters, such as the 21st Century Tank Girl a comic book Kickstarter, and I think that I paid around a hundred something for that as well, and that just came with a whole boatload of crap that I don't even know what to do with, and that's all like super duper high quality stuff, so for a project that I, I realize that ukulele probably cost a lot more to make than 21st Century Tank Girl, and they were going to make 21st Century Tank Girl anyway, but it just seems like for your $90 to $100, you should get a little bit of a nicer package, in my opinion. Other than that, I am satisfied with the Kickstarter itself. I think that the game did exactly what it set out to do, and it did it fantastically, so I guess it's just the physical reward that I am a little bit disappointed with. Anyway, do you think that I'm an entitled prick? If so, leave me a comment below. If not, leave me a comment as well, and also a like. Also, leave me a like no matter what, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.